Hey, what's up guys? It is July 7th, Sunday, about 12.30 in the afternoon. Uh, hope you guys had a great 4th. I did. Had three or four days off, so that was awesome. Um, I'm on the yard, just got hooked up, headed up to Maryland, to Ellicott City, Maryland, and Timonium, Maryland. And that's where we're off to now, so stay tuned. We'll be back with you. Have a good one. Yeah, just a little update. Uh, it's been an eventful start to the week. I guess everybody uh, heading back home from the 4th July weekend. But it's been one traffic jam after another so far. Finally got over here to Knoxville and it is pouring down rain. And apparently uh, there's a crash up here. Two left lanes are blocked. So we're just creeping along. I'm gonna start making a little better time. We might have to call it a short day and just run it tomorrow. But, uh, anyway, that's your update for now. what's going on it's uh sunday afternoon evening about 7 30 eastern time 6 30 central uh i have went ahead and parked for the evening i didn't get as far as i wanted to I wanted to get over to wytheville virginia which is another uh, couple hours away but it would be 9 30 or so before i got there so i just decided to go ahead and park for the night it just it took me like five and a half hours to get here to White Pine, Tennessee, which is just on the east side of Knoxville. It took me like five and a half hours to get here with all the crazy traffic. I guess people going back home after the holiday weekend or something. I don't know. But then that mixed in with some rain. And then uh, <clears throat> I've had a crazy headache all day. So that hasn't helped much either. So I just decided when I got here to my fuel stop, it was already so late, I decided to go ahead and park it for the night. So I wouldn't have to worry about parking when I got two hours down the road. But that leaves me about 4.70 tomorrow, so I'll just get up early in tomorrow. Hopefully I'll feel better, and hopefully all the traffic will be gone, except for the normal traffic, and we will get her done. I deliver Tuesday uh, in the morning, so. That is it for now. That's the update. Take care. See you soon. Subscribe, like. Hit the bell, ding a ling, all that good stuff. He's out. Morning, guys. It is 6 a.m. on Monday morning, July 8th, I do believe. And it is a foggy morning. Uh, woke up this morning hoping I'd feel a little better, but I don't know. So this will be a fun day, but gotta get it done. Uh, all right. 470 miles to go. Let's make it happen. See ya. Hey guys, what's up? It is 6.15 Eastern, 5.15 Central. And I am in Fredericksburg. Frederick. Frederick Ham. Frederickstein. Frederick. Frederick, Maryland, somewhere around in there. Frederick something. Anyway, uh, made it here. I'm about 30 miles away from my stop. They don't have overnight parking there, so had to stop short. And I found this little Walmart that actually has some truck parking out back. Actual, uh, I mean, not much. It's like 
six, seven spots, but it works. Uh, so I stopped here and I went in and got me some, a couple things while I was here. It's been a rough day, man. Didn't feel good all day yesterday. I figured I'd wake up this morning and feel better. Nope. Uh, it's one of the things about trucking. It's kind of like, kind of like the music business. You can't just, uh, call in sick or take a day off when you don't feel good kind of sucks it is what it is I'm used to it I mean it's I guess the music business works especially as a drummer you got a pounding headache and you gotta play the drums that's no fun um, but yeah that's the update for now got uh, two stops in the morning I got one at 7.30 and one at 10.30 no one at 8 o'clock and one at 10.30 then I've got a pre-plan to pick up over at the port. Hopefully that don't take too long, but I have a feeling it will. And then uh, it's going back to Jackson, Tennessee. Is that thunder? Anyway, that's the update for now. Uh, I'm not going to cut it short, but <laughs> too late. Take care and we'll check back in later. See so what's up guys? It's Tuesday morning. Uh, well, I guess almost noon. It's 11:20 a.m., 12:20 p.m. I am sitting over here at the port in Baltimore. Uh, my directions are wrong, so there's that. I still got my headache, so there's that. And uh, I pulled over here in this parking lot. Went down there to check in sign on the windows is will not be or will return at one o'clock so there's that and there's probably one two three four five six seven eight nine, about ten trucks ahead of me so there's that so with that said let's see what kind of time we you have three hours oh, and 52 minutes of remaining drive time louder than I expected Got about eight hours left on my clock, 11, on my 11 and my 14. So we'll see how long they get me hanging out here. This load's supposed to go to Jackson, Tennessee. I'm supposed to deliver at um, 7.30 on Thursday morning. We'll see, see if that happens. So uh, about 840 miles. Anyway, that's where we're at now, so that was just checking in, and that's it. That's the update for now. See you guys later.
look guys so like I was saying I got here at the port at 1145 they were on uh, lunch a little sign in the window said be back at one o'clock and I'm finally being loaded at 320 um, it's a convoluted little place with a bunch of little alleys to drive around as you can see in the video I just uh, just shot and apparently with forklifts popping out at you at every every which direction uh, scared me to death obviously rattled that guy but uh, he just come flying out of there didn't even check but I had to be close to that because there was a truck in the lane and then it was kind of a tight turn too so I had to move out so my tandems would make it around that corner but anyway they're loading me now so hopefully we can get on the road soon I got about five hours left on my clock so we'll see how far we make it this has done nothing for my headache uh, anyway update for now see you later take care I need Tylenol aspirin something Yep, now that I'm finally loaded and can leave Baltimore, I can't leave Baltimore. There's hope, there's the engines. But this has happened before already. We stopped. Can we go? Is it gonna make it? So close this time. Ugh. Never getting out of Baltimore. Ever. Never, ever, ever, ever. Fun times. I'm out. Well, I'm not out. I'm in. I'm in Baltimore. <coughs> hey guys, what's going on? It is uh, Wednesday, about 12:15. I forgot to update you guys last night. Of course, I was dealing with a bunch of, bunch of crap. I, uh, I screwed up. Things happen. Uh, just write it off as a learning lesson. But uh, for some reason, that shipper, they were scaling everybody. And uh, when I got my paperwork to go get loaded, she told me I didn't need to scale. Well, since I asked her about the scales, she said, y'all, you don't need to scale. And I was like, okay, that seems odd. But I asked her, I said, why? Is the load pretty light or something? And she said, yeah. I said, okay, cool. Uh, so I went around, I got loaded, got my paperwork. The paperwork said it was 44,000 pounds. I was like, that's not exactly a light load. But I've ran with a little heavier loads and I know where I've put the tandems and, and everything was okay. So I kind of, part of me was wrote, I wrote it off like, okay, well, you know, I should be fine. Um, and I was gonna go up the road to, uh, to the TA, hit the Catskill. And for some reason after checking the load, moving the tandems and everything else. It just, whatever the reason, I didn't do it. I, I just, I brain farted. So, I was leaving. I left the, left the facility, got rolling, 
got just before Frederick, Maryland, and there's a way station. That's when I realized, oh crap, I forgot to hit the Catskill. And it's like the only one around in Baltimore. Um, so I go through, you know, they, the pre-pass went off for me to go in. So I went in, they put me on the scales, and they had me sitting there forever, it seemed like, and I got the green light. I went, okay, cool, I should be good. So I rolled on. Well, then I got down to Virginia, same thing, red light went off, so I pulled in. Uh, I'm sitting on the scales, and the guy says, uh, you're 2,600 pounds over on your trailer. I need you to pull around, slide, slide your tandems, and come back in. Now keep in mind, I'm already on the ninth hole, uh, so I'm, I'm pretty far back. So I do that, I talk to the guy, and I go in, because I thought I might have misheard him. And I went back in, talked to him, came back out, slid him, slid him back farther went back around and scaled and they green lighted me so I went on through so that was cleared up now I'm too far back on my tandems or farther than I, I should be normally so I get down to Tom's Brook Virginia which is where I was headed anyway and uh, I pulled in the pilot got the cat scale got weighed um, I was still 260 pounds over on my tandems. Everything, gross weight's good. Uh, tandems are heavy. And so now my tandems are heavy and they're slid pretty much as far back as you can, as you can go legally. Maybe just a hair more than what they should be legally. But I talked to all the powers that be and, uh, you know, kind of nothing we can do now, you know, just, I just got to roll with it, so, hopefully I get through the way stations, hopefully it works, uh, works out okay, but, sweating it a little bit, I'm not that heavy, I'm not that much over, and I'm not that far back, uh, but, that's one of those things where it just depends on who you get, somebody might, uh, want to be a jerk about it, by the book, straight by the book or they may just let you slide I don't know it's just one of those things and we'll see anyway that's the update for now uh, I got two more scales to pass uh, going into Tennessee and of course through Tennessee to get to Jackson but that's the update that was totally my fault I just called them up said hey I screwed up and they were cool with it I mean they weren't necessarily cool with it but I didn't get yelled at about it. They just helped me work through it. Another reason this is a great company, you know, they were just like, hey, it happens. Um, there was some things I could have done differently, but I know that now, and they know I know that now. Um, so they were they were okay. Uh, matter of fact, the owner and the lead trainers were like, yeah, just go ahead and roll with it, and uh, that way it is what it is. Long story short, if you do something wrong, mess up, just own it. It's best to do that than to, than to just, uh, I don't know, get a ticket, get popped, whatever, and then they find out about it. It's best just to say, hey, I screwed up. But anyway, that's the update. I'm out. See you guys soon. What's up, guys? What's going on? It's Thursday, about quarter to noon. Just got over here to my pickup. I guess I should rewind a little bit. I stopped in Lebanon, Tennessee last night. Drove 561 miles yesterday. Could have gone a little farther, but Nashville was jacked up. Surprised. Um, so to save my clock and make my 10 work out where I can get there on time. Just stopped over there. I uh, still ran a little bit late because I calculating my clock this whole headache thing has got me my brain hurts uh, more on that because there's more to come that my brain shot right now um, 
so I got my delivery off. They scaled me in and scaled me out there. It turns out my load was um, like 1,740 pounds heavier than it should have been, or than it was listed on the bill of lading. Um, moral of the story, if they say you don't need to get scaled, get scaled anyway. Because I was at a gross weight of 79,060. Could have been bad. They're not real bad, but it could have been, you know. Could have got ticketed, and I don't want that. I've had a clean record this long. I don't want to mess it up. I don't think an overweight ticket would ding your CDL, but it may do your PSP or something, but I'm not positive. But I didn't want it. Anyway, I got that load off, got that squared away, came over here to New Johnsonville, Tennessee to pick up a load. It's one of those places where you got to drop the trailer and then park over yonder. So that's where I'm at. I parked over yonder. And I look over in the yard jockey's under my trailer pulling it out. And I was like, what the hell is he doing? Yeah. I forgot to slide my tandems when I backed in the dock before I disconnected. That was after I backed into the dock and decided it's easier to load the trailer with the doors open. It's been a rough week, man. Struggling. Those are all minor things. Let's just keep it minor, you know. Um, dispatch is aware of the fact that I'm not feeling well. And, uh, I know I'm taking this run or this load back to the yard. I don't know if they want me to just hang out and deliver it in the morning because it's just running up to Franklin, Kentucky, but or if they're gonna just you know let me call it a week and let me go try to recuperate. Um, we'll see. But uh, at this point, I don't I don't know if I'll do another update. I may I may not. I just I feel like turds. I feel like I'm you know no I'm not even gonna go there. I just feel like a big box of buttholes. I guess we'll say that. Um, yeah, that's it for now, man. And women, guys, and stuff. See you soon. I'm gonna take a nap. I got a two hour wait.